Simon's Lavage, one of the most important building materials groups in the world. Environmentally friendly embedded in the natural countryside, the plant Letay in southern France. Production site for cement, the essential basic building material. Modern, aesthetic industrial architecture in country surroundings. These silos serve as intermediate storage for clinker, the semi-finished product in cement production. From the raw material production to the shipment of the finished products, the means of transport for the material flow of the mass bulk material is an essential link in the process. The conveying of hot cement clinker demands special know-how and a special technology. As the competent partner of the cement industry, Boimer has continually and decisively, with its own up-to-date developments and concepts, set the standards in the conveying technology. The clinker produced in the rotary kiln at temperatures of up to 1600 degrees centigrade has specific characteristics. On its long transit it is dusty, abrasive and hot. A distinctive challenge for the conveying technology. From the center zone of the kiln, the glowing clinker goes first of all into the adjacent cooler. And from there, it's taken on its further conveying route. In an enclosed conveyor bridge, it is carried from the basement to the first high capacity silo. And when this is full, on through a connecting bridge into a second silo. Due to the high temperature still present, between 120 and 400 degrees centigrade, rubber belt conveyors cannot be used. Therefore, the Boimer concept provides the use of heat-resistant steel cell conveyors with sidebar chains as traction elements. The separate cells overlap without touching and are screwed onto the chain links, which form a trough-shaped sealed conveying line. This specific construction hinders the material from leaking and dirtying the installation. Here we see the material discharge Turn of the emptied cell conveyor. And the rotary feed chute to the silo. The stored cement clinker is withdrawn from the silos for further processing. In each of the three parallel discharge channels, a steel cell conveyor is installed which primarily feeds the works grinding plant. There is also a link to a truck loading terminal. The control of the discharge is such that a consistent emptying of the silo takes place. There are several openings for this purpose. One behind the other in the silo bottom. Under each separate outlet there is a pin gate as emergency stopper and a segment gate for dosing the material. The grinding mills are supplied fully automatically by the process control. The clinker bulk loading. Part of the production is prepared for the supply of external grinding plants. The transport takes place by truck, which must be loaded dust-free and be of the exact weight. The driver controls the loading process himself. With the touch of a button, the loading head is positioned, the desired amount is programmed in, and the loading process starts. Everything else runs automatically. The loading head sinks down to the vehicle's floor.
the material input begins after the dust collecting system has first been switched on. The clinker reaches the lower belt type discharger through a vertically guided steel telescopic tube and is distributed evenly in the freight space. Any dust development is successfully hindered by an under pressure. This is obtained by specifically controlled lift intervals. The loading is finished. The vehicle leaves the loading terminal. La Farge Letail, a cement plant with exemplary installations for an environment conscious clinker handling. Clinker transport by Boimer. Boimer, your competent partner.